Hello, it's Sarah, and I got my new camera. So here it is. It's the Z the Vixia. It's by Canon, and it's I guess it's the official name is R six hundred, HF R six hundred, the Vixia, and it's a camcorder. Here it is. It's white. It's cute, of course, right? Um, I already have it attached to the tripod the tripod mount and um, still figuring it out but um, so far so good I filmed a few things just playing around I still have to flip the video so I do have to edit it because the way my um, setup is it's shooting down which I wanted and it's just that it's upside down so it's f filming me so anyway I just flip it so let me, I'm going to show you my setup anyway this is the camera it's HD it's awesome um, I have a nice card in here that's very uh, has a lot of gigs I don't know <laughs> I'm not a techie but it's really cool it has a mic jack obviously and um, I charged it last night so I have hundred and twenty two minutes worth of battery so no more ten minute filming I'm so excited about that <sighs> And so, all right, let me show you my setup. So I'm going to get up and right around here, I have a tripod. It's just a normal big one though. And I, we've had this forever. I mean, my son used to do a lot of videoing and I think it was his, but it has this extension thing here. So we extended it up and then my husband removed the top piece, the piece that's attached to the camera. He removed that. He took it off here. He just take the pin out and he mounted it at the end of this, which is basically duct taped on here. I mean, he just did it for temporary. Um, so we'll have to figure something out. Um, but it's pretty, I mean, it's solid for now. We just did it this weekend. Uh, he duct taped it to the top of, this is just a broom handle. And then he just screwed a screw through the top of that. So you can see it's like right over my work area directly on top so I'm gonna show you how I let's see if I can shoot this not with the lights like that the lights so bright but anyway I'm gonna I can't really show you but this shoots down hold on yeah like this so I'm going to I'm going to mount it <clears throat> and then I'll show you how it looks. Um, it's very simple to do. There's just this lever to the side and I just clip it in there so it's in. All right. So here's what it looks like. Kirby stop. So it's basically but see how it's like shooting it's upside down. So if it was facing the right way, it should be this way. And I could have put it behind me but I don't have any space behind me. So I think sitting right in front of me is the best way to go. And then I'm just learning how to flip it. There is a, um, I still have to go into editing and um, edit it. So I'm gonna put this video that I'm shooting now uh, before that video. So I'm about to turn on this camera. So I'm gonna, and look, I swivel the, so you swivel this so I can see what I'm shooting. But see how that's upside down? But it, you know what's weird? This is showing because it's swiveled backwards, so this is upside down. It shows me right way up. Oh, you can't see. See my hand? It's right way up. So it looks like the, the video that you see. Can you see that? It's so bright. See, I don't know if my brightness is adjusted. But see how it's showing it? It shows me right way up, which I love because then I'm not getting, feeling nauseous or anything. But I can see very well. So I'm going to um, turn this one off. Let's turn this on. i got to make sure my lens cap is open. Oh, I guess it is. So let's see. That's recording because the little red dot is on. Sorry, I'm sure this was a mess. So I'm going to turn this one off. i got to make sure my lens cap is open. Oh, I guess it is. So let's see, that's recording because the little red dot is on. Sorry, I'm sure this was a mess. So I'm going to turn this one off. 
and say hello. <laughs> it's Sarah. Um, so I have some stuff I can show you. So look, so this is it. Let me turn, I'm going to turn my light back up again. Now I have spotlights, two spotlights. See the shadows? Um, I have, uh, what are they called? Track lighting, right? I have a tra one track with two spots on it. And for crafting, it's fantastic. Like, I have great light. There are some shadows, and like, I'm used to using an ot light, like an ot light that just was right over, over my space. Um, but it took up room on my desk, so um, when I got the spots, I was, I was good with it. So, so far I haven't really had an issue using the spots. Um, so let's get into today's share. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. So I have Zoom. I'm going the wrong way. Look at that. It's pretty zoomy, right? If I really wanted to show something in detail. But then I really have to be sure that I keep it right on that center spot. But it's it's good. I like being up this way for now. All right. And it's moving a little bit. All right. So I'm, I'm looking at the viewfinder because I just heard a... Oh, no. I see the clock moving. All right. Sorry. Little sidetrack. So let me put this back and talk to you about what I've been doing. So over yesterday... Um, Patty Tolley Parish posted a, a, one of her Ustreams and I had her on and I was just back here or uh, up here playing with my um, sprays. I hadn't played with these for so long and um, my class that I'm taking, my um, journal soup class, she had that page. I showed you guys that we did this. And I, that's the first time I played with them in so long. So um, I went and got the grape. What is this called? That's Funky Fuchsia. The crushed grape, right? Yep, I went and got crushed grape. And that comes with uh, this one, Vibrant Turquoise. Because I was really playing with mostly pinks. Anywho, um, I'll show you what I did. So... I started out with these. This, 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 and this. Now I made these the other day because I did have the greens. I had greens and yellows. So I made these when I was making um, this piece because I made it to match the butterfly. So I had them. Um, and they're pretty much finished. I could just add, well, the background is finished. I could just add words or whatever to it. The, and I did these. So then I went back to my pinks because I do love pink. Um, this one, I have been using all of my um, Diane Reevely stamps as well. I just got this one, and this is her um, basic backgrounds. I think this has been out for a while. This one definitely has been out for a while. How does your garden grow? And I'm, I use it all the time. But these flowers I really love because they're kind of like sketchy flowers. I like them. Then these are my leaves that I use all the time. And these are borders, which I haven't been using as much. But I think I'm going to start if I um, play with my sprays in my bigger art journal. I have a bigger art journal. I don't really want to use that them in my um, this guy because... It, it, the inks just are so saturated. Anyway, and my letters from um, Tim Holtz, my talk text, or tall text, sorry. So I've been using these, and then I got this new one, and this was, I ordered this one, well, anyway, um, I saw a video I told you guys by, well, I don't know if I did because I filmed a bunch of stuff and didn't post it. Uh, Debbie Cole had posted a mixed media piece that she used the stamp with, so I ordered that. And then you guys saw the piece I did. But anyway, um, these are the, the flowers um, by Diane Reevely, and these I cut out of uh, watercolor paper, and I colored them with my Tim Holtz Distress Markers because the colors are very similar. Then these are just the stamped flowers onto the background, but I colored them in with my... 
Wink Estella, and this is glitter white. So what it what you come away with is like a milky white and some sparkle. So that was that one. I just played with that real simple and put stickles. But I like it. It's really blingy. Um, and then this one was basically the same thing. I just use, I have a stencil, a daisy stencil, and that's what I was kind of playing with. So this is a lot of second, anyway, um, <laughs> some techniques that you do with the sprays. But I did the same thing with the flowers. I just stamped some flowers on, and this time I just used my gold Wink Estella. So I have gold. I don't have that many. I have pink. Silver is really kind of black. Like, I could show you, like, I'm not thrilled with this color. It's silver, but it it doesn't come off silver. It comes off gray and kind of, I don't know, it doesn't even have that much, um, I never use it. And I have clear, of course. But they have, at Michael's right now, they have tons of colors. I like the pink. The pink is a nice, I can show you some stuff I did with pink. I'll show you that closer up. The white is, like I said, I mean, it looks clear at first, but when it dries, it's like a milky white. Sorry, getting used to it. But the pink is definitely pink. Anywho, um, so I do use the pink quite a bit, and that's the gold. So the centers of these are gold, and they're definitely sparkly. So it's just another version of this one. It's just, you know. But again, these are just all the pink and yellow sprays that I have. Um, then these are very similar. I just, um, this one I stenciled with paint. And what happens with um, her, her sprays are so rich with pigment. When you put white paint on top of it, it turns pink. The white paint sucks up the color. Like you can see here, that's not white. It's like got blue or purple um, because the pigment is so strong. So actually those um, hearts are colored with the pink Wink Estella. So those hearts are, and I was just playing around. I, I have some hearts. I've been like cutting out stuff. I stamped, I, when I used the sprays on um, a piece of watercolor paper, I'm sure I'm trying to find it. I put my scraps back here. Here, here it is. Can you see me? No. Um, but like this is watercolor paper and then I just I dipped it in and stuff and then I've been stamping on it like see there's a heart and then I use that in my stuff so I think I have two hearts that nope I don't know like here's a flower I have another flower I th maybe I used them or I put them someplace different I have this thing that I'm like putting a bunch of kind of cut apart or anything that I might want to do some um, collage with. Anywho, um, uh, 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 sorry, all right. So I did end up stamping these on watercolor paper, but I colored them with distress markers. This was before I decided to like stamp it just on top of other paper that I'd already sprayed. And I, I, I carved this ribbon. This ribbon is uh, carved out of the, uh, what is it called? See, now I, I don't have any wrapper left of it, but it's, um, oh, yes, I do. Easy, car easy Carve, Speedy Carve. And I used a little tool, and I made myself um, an awareness ribbon. Um, and then I just painted that on and put hope. So these are kind of done. I was just going to put hearts or something. I don't know. Um, so that was basically my pinks. Then I went and got the purples. I went and got the purple and the blue. And what happened with that was Diane actually just posted a video, a new video. It's this month. She just posted it about the sprays again and how now at her classes, she will have a bin of warm colors, a bin of cool colors, and then purple, black, white, and gray separated out. And the reason is, is that some colors will make mud and people were having a lot of issues 
with getting brown. Purple is a culprit when it comes to getting brown. So you can use purples with blues and pinks and reds, but you can't use it with greens, browns, oranges, any of that stuff, it'll just make mud. Um, so she has a great video. I can put the link um, in the description box because it was a, just a great refresher. Um, so there's certain colors that you can't, you shouldn't use together. But before I knew that, before I saw that video, I just had seen a, a video um, by Joggles, Barbara, and she actually used um, Picket Fence Distress Stain. And I don't have any stains. I think I gave my stains to Callie. I think I sent them to Callie. But um, she actually used the Distress Stain with the purple and made it like, so what you get is a little bit of, they work differently together because the white, I don't know, anyway, I tried that first. And then the dots are, uh, I just used a sponge and put some um, metallic paint through the holes. So this was just kind of playing around with just purple and white paint. This was just basically this paint watered down. Like I put paint, watered it down, and then sprayed purple, and it kind of came up like lavender and purple but then I did spray through a stencil and stamped with my actually the purple stamp there the numbers that's the Tim Holtz distress um, inks so I did use them too although I try have been trying to use my um, Adirondack what are they called no archival I'm sorry my archival inks and I just ordered these two and I really think this is such a light ink. I don't really know that I'm going to use it very often. This is Tiger Lily, and I'll probably, I don't know if I used this one um, on any of these. I think I did. But uh, I need some darker color inks. I, I've been using my stays on. I have the darker colors in my stays on. I have the teal, which I love, and the red. I use the red all the time. Because when you stamp this, and it's actually called Blazing Red, so it's not, I mean, look, it's like more of a pinkish red. So, um, but especially when you do it on top of the, all these inks, it's, um, it changes the colors. Okay, so that was the first play I had with purple. Now look at this. This is a tag. And I think what I did was, what, what um, Diane does, and I did it with these two, that's what I did, um, is... In her art journals, she has, so say this is two pages in an art journal. She spritzes it with water first and gets the page just damp, not puddles. And then she really goes to town with color. Just like five pumps of each color and it's saturated with color. Then she, just one page. Then she takes the other page and gets all that color on there and it squishes out. Like it's a lot of color. And then she opens it up and she uses her, um, she calls it a kitchen roll and blots off. And then her color is all around the page. It fills the page. And I personally kind of like when you see the spritz there. Like, I like that. But if you pre-moisten the card, that's supposed to, like, blend out more. But I kind of like that look. So this is when I first, I used actually, see this one? I used the blue, which is um, turquoise, right? Vibrant turquoise, the crushed grape, and I used bubblegum pink. Bubblegum pink is a beautiful soft pink color like this. But for these, I changed that and I went with funky fuchsia because I hadn't used it yet. And it's just super dark. It's like a dark, dark fuchsia. Well, obviously, right? It's not really a pink. And when I did that, when I put it over, the colors just really mingled. And I mean, it didn't make mud, though. So I was very happy about that. But I didn't have the, the difference. I like to see the difference in the colors the way I did on this card. So then I tried to do ghosting. And I cannot get, and I have a feeling um, Diane's art journals are made of certain paper. And whenever she demos it in her art journals, her ghosting works so well. 
um, I'm beginning to think that it has something to do with the paper or something. And then after that, I actually was drying the paper really well before I tried ghosting. Now ghosting is you just take a stencil and lay it on top of your ink, your inked card, and spritz water. I'm going to try it right now. Let's try it. Because this has been sitting for a while. I want to do it with the daisies again. I have this daisy stencil. Um, this is by DecoArt. Let me just see if I can get this to be a little flatter. Um, and let's see. And I don't know if I'm supposed to leave the water on long or short or what. So I'm just going to spritz. Get it on there. And I'm just going to wipe it off. Move it. Wipe it off my stencil. Put that away. And then she would take her um, kitchen roll and blot. So, I mean, hope, like, see, look, I don't even see any water. Maybe I need more water. I don't know. Did it work? Let's see. No, not really. So, I'm really struggling with the good. I mean, you can kind of see stuff, but it's not not what she gets you know it's not the result that she gets like I tried it a couple times there's a, like two letters right there I, I just can't get it to work I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing wrong because um, I love that effect and especially because this card was so dark um, I thought lifting off some of that paint the you know the ink would be a fantastic look it would look so nice right nope fail so Again, this was kind of just um, trying to get something, because they were both so dark, I just went crazy with trying to get it to look like something. And, and once you add all these extra little doodahs, the um, circles especially, and any stamping. So this was my, um, the new Diane Reevely stamp that I got, these textures. I love the letters and the, yeah, I haven't used the, um, triangle or diamond pattern that much I don't think I've, I I did try it yeah and I haven't used my numbers but I love them they're awesome all right so those were the purples I showed you that one so this was another one now I really like when you do it and there's some white bits I kind of like when there's a little bit of card showing through so that's my personal preference I mean I don't know. I kind of like that too with no card showing through. There's a little bit. There's like a little, little, little there. But see, I got some ghosting here. I can see ghosting. Up there, you see those daisies? There's some here too. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what. I don't know. But this, I love this. So I did. These came out pretty cool. And this is just, these are um, regular manila tags, but this is file folder, the cheap file folder from the dollar store that I just cut into different shapes. This is part of a file folder. This is part of another file folder. So I just kind of made smaller little sections of file folder, you know, because I was going to put them in my journal soup box. But I love this one, like just all the different colors. I love it so pretty so I was gonna film the process but because I don't know what I'm doing it's really 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 fumbly once I once I get the hang of it if I ever do get the hang of it uh, <laughs> maybe I'll film some but for now um, just I just think it's best that I just show um, and like this tag I don't know but look I got some good ghosting there So I'm going to just do a little, I'm going to do more play. This is that teal. What color, what color um, archival is this? Oh, no, no. This is the stays on. Teal blue. But that looks, that's my um, script stamp. I love that. So that's, you know, oh, and I used my triangle um, stencil. I can see the triangles. That's Diane's too. She has a triangle stencil. But this is my, I haven't used this. Oh, this I got some, no. You know what I do too sometimes like these type of marks is when you after you spritz on the stencil you flip the stencil over and you get the reverse print 
so some of these are like those marks and they look really cool they just add like this totally these circles right here are definitely the flip over because otherwise it would be and so are these so that blue was a flip over I think this was my flip over card a lot of these are looking flippy over and this was actually when I did my um, kitchen roll now I'm calling it kitchen roll these like tread marks almost were the paint that was still on the kitchen roll the paper towels and it came on there and gave it texture too so really cool backgrounds guys like I mean all the work that we do to achieve backgrounds just like color it's very easy to do with these sprays and I hadn't I actually gave up on them I didn't know how to use them but I think it just takes a little practice and play like look at these colors I mean I might just have tags all day like I have that's why I'm trying to um I have a lot of tags but I, I'm trying to do little kind of you know something that I can put something on so this is my biggest one that I did when I was cutting apart a file folder I had this big chunky one this is the other one I had so it's a bit smaller and I kind of wish I'd done it in different colors because they would look good together you know but you can't really tell because they're both pink um, but here this is what uh, I decided to do I'm, I'm kind of thinking about next this Ooh, it's almost October already but next month is breast cancer awareness month and um, I want to do something for the hashtag uh, collab right I think my gesso took off the silver metallic pen um, and I'm thinking clay I definitely want to do I was thinking I could do I bought these little mirrors uh, they're a dollar and I think I'm going to paint this with metallic pink and just do some, I think I'm just going to have hope and the ribbon. That's why I carved this. Hopefully I can make a, um, I don't know now. I don't know if this will go as well with the clay because of all the other carving. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll try to figure something out. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I want to do. I want to try and do some clay tiles and because I want to show you. So this is why I'm thinking of that because this stamp is like one of my faves. And just because, I mean, I think it is basically, yeah, it is because it has the, this is, um, it says cure. Oh dear. Everything's coming off. Cure, support, hope strength they are definitely and there's a breast cancer so where breast there's a ribbon there determination survive help courage um all words that are just great words anyway so i use this all the time um it is an ink and do stamp i don't remember where or when i got it but i i have had it in my stash because like i said i just like the words and I've stamped this into clay and cut it into sections and had just like, um, here I'll show you. So it's basically, I was thinking about this piece that I did. And maybe I'll just do this and keep it simple and small because I have a little box I could do too. But see this little, I'm going to go zoom in. Zoom back out. Okay. So I just put a little bird because of course he's just sweet. Um, this is a button so we could always do that I just didn't know if I had any more of them embedding a button into the clay and then I painted around I painted it with like metallic paints I cut the determination so determination is right here I just cut that off after I stamped it into the clay I cut off this hope definition I have another stamp Huh. Oh, here it is. I have this definition stamp. I have dream, love, celebrate, hope. So I just stamped that into the clay and then cut that out. And I didn't get the whole thing, but I got like two to three of them. Um, I did one of my applique flowers and just a heart and another painted 
painted stamp. So you don't have to, you don't need a ton to cover a little box like this. Just determine it. And then this one, this is another section of this stamp. Hope, friends, strength, and then I painted it and colored in the little images. There's a sun and a flower and a heart. So I think that's super cute. And then here's, I have a, another hope stamp. So I stamped hope in it. So I think I could come up with a lot of different um, stuff to use for, I mean, now say, look, here's the, here's the mirror. Let me go back up. So, I mean, basically, it's, and maybe we don't even have to put them everywhere, although it would look super awesome. So, I think I might start um, working on that, and um, I won't, I'll just post it as I go, but then for the hashtag event, maybe I'll just do a smaller one, a revision. No, I don't, you're not supposed to do that. Whatever. Who cares? I don't have to do the hashtag. It doesn't matter. I think I just still want to do it. Um, all right. What else was I going to say? So, okay. So here. So for this, I used, like I said, I saw this video or actually a post where Debbie Cole used this stamp and it's a Stampenda stamp called The Look. And it comes with a, um, a mask. Separate the mask at the small bridges, large blah, 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 blah. Anyway, but I did use the mask. It was super cool. Um, so for the background, you can, if you look, you'll see all those words are in the background. Hope, uh, help, faith. Anyway, they're all over the place. Faith, determination. Um, I stamped hearts in red. I stamped, uh, basically that's all the stamping I did in the background was hearts and that stamp, the, um, the stamp, all over the place. And then I put her, I just, I stamped her on here. And then I used this, um, the free stencil. Here it is. This is just the inside part, because I used, this as a mask. Once I had stamped her on here, I used this as a mask, because then I did my bottle cap stuff. See how I went over the edge with the bottle cap? different stuff so it was very nice to have this so it comes apart there's tons of pieces and then there's actually the big back part which is in there somewhere but I traced around this to get the hair because the stamp only has this much hair but this had the whole thing so I just tr I, I traced around it with my pen and then I painted it and I mean it's it is what it is it's not my best painting ever because it kept picking up it was really hard I don't I couldn't get the paint to stay where I wanted it so I kind of just left it and it, it is what it is it's good enough but I did trace also I, I tell you guys about if you have a stamp you love and you want to paint it you can always stamp the um, image onto tracing paper so when I went to put her face on I put it over and then I just traced the lines so because first I painted it all flesh tone then I came back and traced the lines on and painted in those things so it's just helpful to um, have tracing paper and you don't have to wing it so much because I'm not a winger although the next class that I'm doing with um, Kate Crane I have been doing some drawing let's see if I have it here we're starting to sketch, which I'm loving. I hate when I say that, but I get excited. I don't know where it is. Anywho, um, I totally, well here, I can show you this. Um, she gives you in her downloads this little practice sheet. And that's my girl, and she's a whimsical little face. But look how wide it is. Like, it's definitely, it's, it'll never be hers anyway. Everyone's going to be different. So I'm going to be drawing this onto one of my backgrounds. So I'm not sure if I'll use, like, say, one of these. This is so dark. Um, probably, like, I don't know, maybe one of the later ones. Anywho, um, this one. This might be cool. I have to watch the class again, but she draws it right on there, and then she colors it with um, pencil, um, colored pencil. So I may use colored pencil, or I may 
um, paint it. You know, I'm going to do what I want to do. But um, And then there's another image that she's teaching us how to draw. And I'm just, I'm loving it. So I'm going to be working on those this week. But see, that's the thing. I do need to get working on... Um, if I want to do a breast cancer awareness uh, clay piece, I could, I, I gotta start working on it. Anywho, um, see, so how long has this been? 30 minutes, and I haven't had to do anything touching my camera. All right, so this is it. So then the stamp set just comes with the feathers, which I just made earrings, just because, and then these are stamped. This is a Tim Holtz heart. Where is it? I've just been taking, like, there here it is, the sketchy heart. I've been taking a lot of my Tim Holtz stamps out of their packages and just putting them in here because um, I don't use them if I if they're in here not in here. So I just took this flourish out um, just to get background stamps. And I mean I want to use them. I don't care if they're like in here and they're like messed up or whatever. Um, I'd rather use them than have them sitting in there not being used. So. Uh, that's what that heart was. Um, so I stamped them onto some watercolor paper that had that had spray on it. So that piece of spray that uh, sprayed watercolor paper I showed you. Here it is. See, so I have a feather here. I kind of stamped them here and there. There's the hearts, and then just cut them out. And I didn't trace around this with the black pen because I just thought I'm gonna mess it up. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Um. And I stamped Hope with my Tim Holtz tall text. and But that's about it. So I have been busy. This weekend was fun playing with these inks. I can't recommend them enough. They're super vibrant. If you like color, you're going to love these because they're so vibrant. I mean, obviously, you know, look at the greens and the blues. So I don't have that many blues. I only have this, the... the um, the heck is it called? Vibrant Turquoise, but look at that. It's gorge. Um, so I'm tempted. I have a 50% off coupon. I'm tempted to go get. I think my Michaels only has the dark, dark, dark blue. I'd rather get like a baby blue. Um, but maybe I'll go to AC Moore. Go see what they have. So yeah, so um, super, super pretty. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go see what this looks like, and thanks for watching. <laughs>